There we go. Huh. I guess he doesn't like your phone. Uh, I don't think most things like my phone. What? Granted, I've also oh. noticed that the fucking audio peaks with this one for some reason. Hmm. Like, like you can hear it clipping, and I hate it. So, I don't know why Me6 decides to record everything at max volume. It's probably because it has settings that way. I don't, I don't know how that fucker works. I have yet Craig to find back. anything. Bring back to Craig. Like... I'd love to. I would fucking love to. Anyway, we're continuing new with newly single because what the actual fuck is this shit? Welcome to what are we reading? It's this. That's the answer to the question. You confused me. I thought this is actually called this, and I was about to be very upset. <laughs> yes. Today on what are we reading? We're reading this. Hello and welcome to this. What is this, you might ask? We don't know what this is. I mean, that's not entirely wrong with this. Like, welcome back what... to Drunken Simp Kills His Girlfriend and now he's haunting his uh, sexual video game. Wait, which one's the simp person who was sleeping with this guy's wife or this guy? Nah, he, I called him the Drunken Simp, so... That's true. Then again, I have to imagine you'd be... You'd have to be pretty drunk to think any of these emails are a good idea, Kevin. Huh. That's the guy who emailed him name. Emailed him's name. Fuck. Hmm. I can speak hmm. English. Email. I can't. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, Welcome we're continuing to... with this. <laughs> Welcome to what is this in Spanish? Welcome to this Yo, dumpster fire. <laughs> Welcome to I Have a Headache and I'm in Pain, so I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we'll start us off. Part of the game involves talking with each of the player's potential mates. Never use that word. <laughs> that, that, that feels so gross. You're, unless it's Australian. <laughs> so it's just all oh, me and the mates, yeah? Wait, so in no, Australia is that you kiss, in Australia is that you kiss the mates goodnight? So yeah. the homies? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta kiss the mates goodnight, man. Well, kiss the mates goodnight, mate. Yeah, mate. Of course, mate. Uh, kiss my mates every night. Asking and answering questions to earn honey, one of the game's forms of currency. The other will be called money. The questions the player may ask range from inane, what's your favorite color, to keystone of every rela- to the keystone of every relationship, successful relationship, fuck, what cup size are you rocking? Uh, is the author trying to be witty? I sure hope not, because that sounded bad. Even with me fucking stuttering through that. <laughs> Granite, from what we've seen, that isn't out of place in this story. Yeah. Whiplash from talking about my dead wife to talking about tits. R slash men writing women. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that one? What... No, but I'm just thinking about what would happen if you actually walked up to someone who's just like, hey, what's your cup size? I... I can't imagine fucking doing that. Mostly because I usually don't care. <laughs> uh, hold on, I need to look up honey pop questions real quick. I mean, the cup size one is one of the questions in there. Oh, no, that's not what I'm looking up. It's oh. just, if I recall correctly, like, you unlock more questions with more hearts, but I think yeah. what your cup size is, like, one of the first questions you can ask. Yeah, which... That should be, like, at the five heart level, not one heart level. At very least, don't open with that. Yeah. Hi, uh, been, this is our first date. What are what are the size of your tits? How big are your I tits? Need to know. How big are tits? Oh god, I forgot about the cat girl. She's actually one years old. Fuck that. No. 
But it says age one, but in parentheses it says cat years. Whatever That's the hell that's somehow that means. worse than Nekopara. Oh god, please don't remind me about that. Uh, that is so fucking gross. Like, if they had just left out the idea to have them age at the same rate as cats, I wouldn't be so fucking squicked out. Yeah. You've somehow done the polar opposite of, like, the 300-year-old lolly, and it's just as gross. <laughs> Kiyu's fucking over 300 years old. God damn. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, she is a fairy. That makes sense. Uh, remembering the answers uh, each girl gives to these questions helps the player earn more honey. Players are also periodically asked questions by the girls, requiring them to recall information given in an earlier conversation, or just looking up the answers online, or wishing to hear his or her response in a, to a hypothetical or personal question. Listen, I told you my cup size, you better damn well remember it if you're going to ask that stupid question. You know you're not wrong. <laughs> I learned quick not to just answer or how I normally would because some of those I remember one of them was like fucking what is it uh fuck wait did you start Ico? reading even that was my line no no still my paragraph oh fuck that's a long one yeah uh but uh, fuck the teacher this is like so what do you uh so what's your opinions on like how experienced you want your partners I was like I'd like just real life I, like, I don't really fucking care <laughs> <laughs> yeah so long as they have an idea of what they're... So long as they know what they're doing. Anyway. Yeah, so I, I remember that one being one of the wrong answers. Depending on... Yeah. Uh, for her, anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, things like, what would you do if you found someone's wallet on the street? Or how many girls are you seeing right now? The answer is 17. I don't remember that one, because that's with, uh, fuck, I forgot her name. But it's literally, like, like, you give her, like, the actual answer of, like, I'm seeing a lot of people right now, and she thinks you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm seeing, oh you gosh. know, like, ten, ten people right now. <laughs> you're so funny. Oh my gosh, one of the questions you can ask, uh, what's her name, the, um... Uh, teacher lady. Yeah. I forgot her fucking name. Is it Ico? Ico, yeah. It's, uh, what's your kill count, huh? How many notches you got on the old belt? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking phrasing is just, like, you know. <laughs> like, I don't think anyone who has sex puts it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm, af I'm afraid to even ask, how many times a day do you touch yourself? As <laughs> many times as it takes. I... <laughs> okay. How many kids do you plan on having? I should never be responsible for an another human being. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Ideally, how many times a day would you have sex? You couldn't handle how many times I would do it. Is this still Ico? It's for Je Jesse. Ah, <laughs> uh, the porn star, right? Yeah. All right. How many moons does your planet has? Planet? How many moons does your planet? Oh, never mind. Fuck. That's the that's last. Just a, that's just a Saturn. That's just a Saturn fact. Boo. Anyway. You're lying now. Oh, right. Ow. I forgot this was in third person. Oh, right. Sometimes Jeff found the questions to be fun, other times annoying. Not nah, these girls were charismatic. This game was funny as shit. And sometimes just bizarre. Oh, yeah. Fuck these birds, right? From time to time, the game <laughs> seemed to glitch on certain questions or to ask or answer the words display on screen, but there was no voiceover. This typically happened on what Jeff felt were stranger questions. At one point, the game's any girl belly asked, do you ever dream about it? With no <laughs> clarification. And at another, the cheerleader Tiffany posts a query, how much did you remember the next day? Oh my god. 
It's happening. <laughs> His girlfriend's haunting the game. Finally, something. These odd inquiries were not common, but still confusing and a bit off-putting. They seem to pop up at random. You dream about it? Uh... <laughs> you dream about it? Dream about what? My tits. Boom. I... Fat man. What? I, now I'm just imagining if Belly was that confident. What? 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 Sorry, I, I found a Twitter called Fat Man. Okay. And it's just this picture of this dude losing weight in a Batman well, helmet. Huh. Well, I guess if you're going to document your weight loss, I don't know. Jeff was interested to see if correctly answering these was some kind of subplot or alternate gameplay mode that only a few people knew of. He hadn't read about any other players encountering these weird questions or glitches, but he knew that there was some hidden characters and Easter eggs in the game. Seemed like no one had figured this out yet, and he couldn't tell if he was playing through some of these uh, through these segments correctly. He seemed to earn no honey from any of the answers he gave or questions he posed. Eventually, he just began answering them randomly and moving on to the next. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your mm. wife dies in a car crash, and all of a sudden you get. Do you dream about it? And do you remember the next? How much did you remember the next day? <laughs> My questions. I would hope one of the answers would be, um, shut up, stop talking about it. It's like, I, like, how does that not immediately, like, raise your, wait, what? <laughs> like, since, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, alright, time to stop playing this game. Not being very adept at tile matching puzzle games, it sometimes took a while for Note. him to achieve a successful date mood and he preferred to stick to one girl at a time um that feels false from last time i think attempting to win a date did it mention that earlier right i swear he he went for like all of them or so i don't know i have a headache dude i don't remember i think he said that he would like focus on a one instead of going around oh uh, like the date... better strategy is to date around Attempted to win a date round with her before going to win an, another date with one of the other girls. You have to find yourself forgetting to use the power-ups he had earned. Fucking dumbass. This made for a slow go of things, but Jeff was glad to stretch out the gameplay for a little longer. This dude's not a true gamer. God. Fuck, this man is lonely. I... At certain points in the game, a new, an unknown new girl would show up in the selection menu, usually in the evening or nighttime. The picture was always grayed out, but she was not listed as asleep. Jeff thought this was to be one of the unlockable characters of the game, and that he needed some kind of action at a certain time or place to get where he could finally meet her. Whenever the girl would show up in the honeybee, he would attempt to give certain items to whichever character he was with to see if it would unlock that in character. This never worked, and after he went to visit another girl or went on a date, the mystery woman would be gone. Uh, this and is as bullshit. I mentioned, this dude didn't even like figure out how to do it in the normal game. You have to drop and... the items, not use yeah, them. Yeah, you drop it, not. Yeah, you see uh, for um this girl, you have to drop your car keys out when you're out. <laughs> you have to drop your car keys and also an alcoholic beverage. Yep. <laughs> also, like I said last time, uh, it is really fucking obvious that this character that this character is not the same art style as the rest. And it's very obvious to me that this is his fucking girlfriend, and it's good. <laughs> yeah, her wife, whatever yeah. it was. I don't know. Not anymore. She's dead. Tap tap tap. Da 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 da. Your line. Oh my god. Got it. Right? Yep. I just finished my line. What the hell? In some of the early research Jeffrey did of the game, he read something about the unlockable girls being a cat girl and some kind of alien woman. He Jeffrey. Reading... What? So, no, no. So it just made me laugh at the fact that the right. I think this is the only time it's like decompressed his name or like did the full length, full version of his first name. Like oh. the rest of it, it's just been Jeff, and then suddenly Jeffrey. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you know that Jeff is short for Jeff Erson? That too. 
That was funnier in my head. Anyways, you stopped reading so as not to ruin the surprise of finding them. I don't know. Those are kind of obscure. I don't mind looking those up. Because you have to, like, drop the fish outside, and you can only drop, the, like, the, you know, strange piece at a certain time, I think, outside. Yeah, I think it's, like, a certain time at, at a night. park. Is it the beach? It's the beach. Okay. It's been ages. So I just found that we're discovering other secrets. The unknown icon didn't look like it had whiskers or cat ears from what he could tell, so he decided that it must be the extraterrestrial or some other girl he hadn't read about, like Venus. Did he not even see the pictures? I guess like, not. How do you look that how do you look up the secrets not, not, not without running into any of the pictures? I don't know. Plot contrivance? Maybe he's just he's just yeah. he, he's already established he's not a true gamer. The more date rounds you win, the more hearts are displayed on each woman's profile. After a few days of playing, Jeff had gotten all the girls up to around three hearts out of a pers- possible five. Though when a girl had four hearts, it is possible to take her to bed after an, uh, after a date at night. The plan was to keep going on daytime dates until everyone had all five hearts filled. Give me a sec. You okay? My eyes twitching. Oof. My brain feels like it's twitching. I... Why would... What? <laughs> Why would you do it that way? Why? <laughs> Playing in this manner made the experience last much longer. How lonely are you, man? This is not how you get over the amount. death of your yeah. wife. I thought it would last around the same amount of time. It's the same amount of dates unless you suck. You, you're, he's just not good at the game, that's all. <sighs> in the meantime, Jeff... Bauman had started an additional save file on the game to attempt meeting the girls in a different order to see if it resulted in any changes in gameplay. There were no major differences of note, but this also served to extend the time he spent playing. God, this dude's a loser. Both save files he encountered a few uncharacteristic questions, some of the same and a few different. What? What the fuck is what? <laughs> what, is, what is this man? A sad, lonely <laughs> pile of secrets. What uh, a miserable pile of secrets. Although I would also accept a naked ape. Um. He came across one Inquisition from Audrey, the mega bitch character, that read, What's the best part? With three choices that answer, No win laws at Christmas, the bed all to myself, no nagging about booze and dope. <laughs> uh, drugs. That is the most obvious question to have to do with this. What? This quiz was one that struck Jeff rather sharply as they seemed to relate to bachelorhood, which he recently had somewhat thrust upon him. What is this writing? I don't know. But at least the question appeared to have some relation to the game, as the Audrey character openly uses illegal drugs. Could just say smokes pot, whatever. Memory serves, that's the only one that's like confirmed, right? I don't remember. I fucking hate Audrey. I didn't bother remembering her. <laughs> but that's mostly because she dissed my favorite character. Yeah, yeah. And one of the answers mentioned them. Jeff chose the third option, and Ply came, at least you're honest, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hmm. Guess we found something for Ichi, Dan. Haha. <laughs> S- sorry. Uh, that's just my response to everything, is to give that really sarcastic laugh, because I really am just out of it right now. <laughs> <sighs> I guess unlike a normal binder, you wouldn't have the same issues with breathing. 
Binders? What? Yeah. It says highly efficient binder. Oh, that. Uh... Fuck, dude, I don't know. Are bras binders? No. The whole point of a binder is literally to flatten the tits so that you, they don't really present. Uh, more oh. likely to see them on, like, trans men so that they can hide tits, not suffer dysphoria. Oh. Because you identify as a man, and you look down and you have tits attached to your chest, that can kind of cause problems. Psychologically. Uh, I'll keep Some my really look- mean comment to myself. Uh, I'll make a joke about, you know, well, I mean, if you're fat, you know. <laughs> if you're a fat guy, you probably have tits anyways. I... <laughs> Yeah, but that's a different situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, but like... Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Is it my line? Yes. Um, Start of an email. From Kevin Lorraine at gmail.com. Sub, a brief explanation. Body continued. By the time anyone noticed the tire tracks leading into the woods, it was already after 9 a.m. You were hours into a blackout sleep, and she had long since bled out, already starting to stiffen up. They think you wrapped around that maple tree around three or so, leaving plenty of time for your lovely wife to scream at you to wake up, grope fruitlessly for her cell phone, shut her up into the night, claw for the release on her seatbelt until the nails went bent back and snapped away from the quick... I bet you were snoring. She said that you snored like a boar when you were drunk. What the fuck? <laughs> this dude's a dick. I also, like, I'd have to imagine that she would have... Uh, they found him at nine, uh, wrapped around at three. Um, like, if she bled out quick enough for, like, none of the noise she made to, like, wake him up and he wasn't suffering, like, head trauma, uh, then I doubt that she would have had enough time to, like, do all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't send an angry email to the grieving dude, even if it's, you know, he's drunk and it's his fault. Like, come on, dude. Even if you sent him a haunted porn game. Yeah. Yeah, I trapped your you dead get... wife's soul in this porn game. She's been <laughs> watching you play this like a pathetic loser for the past week. Yeah. Hey. You got to sleep and dream away the wee hours of the morning with barely more than a concussion. Erin didn't get that luxury. She was awake and aware until the late stages of hypovolemic shock started. I can't imagine it would have taken that long. Yeah. Uh, uh, pinned in the passenger seat with a kink spinal cord, she got to watch the sunrise until her severed but pinched femoral artery trickled. Jesus Christ, dude. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh, that is some fucking contrivance right there. Pretty much, yeah. Because, like, Ugh. the whole thing is the femoral that gets cut open. That's the one in your thigh. It's about the size of a fucking garden hose. Uh, that gets cut open, you bleed out in a few seconds. Jesus Christ, I have a thick-ass artery in my, in my leg, then. Uh, your aorta is even fucking thicker, and that's in your chest. Well, that one kind of makes sense, but, like... I think part of it is just because of, like, the way humans are designed. You need a lot... Like, you need a larger artery to be able to, like, pump blood through your leg. Because gravity. Yeah. It's kind of like the fucking veins in the neck of a giraffe. Uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, my point is... Like... For that one to be, like, specifically pinched off, uh, I mean, for one, that means that if she had somehow gotten out, 
she would have immediately bled out and died. <laughs> yeah. Kind of why they say don't move the body. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, that is just, I, it feels like such a fucking contrivance of like, oh, how do we get it to where she like bled out, but also at the same time did it slowly enough to where she was able to suffer. Just to make the story darker. Yeah. Like, you could have just had it to where, like, she just fucking bled out and died. You didn't have to fucking... Even just the, <sighs> that few seconds, could you could have just kind of spent it like those few seconds were torturous, you, you know, watched you, you know? Well, it would have been fucking terrifying, like, as you just feel the blood drain from your body and go faint and start feeling cold. And you're just, like, trying to slap your drunk husband to wake him up, but he doesn't. And by the time unaware if he's even alive that too probably yeah uh there was something else that never got into the report that you never heard about she had enough room to move her left arm a little enough to reach a few things like the still functional car lighter car lighter what oh right oh and yeah old cars in... used to have those yeah a few things in the center console one of these things was your hidden joints she once told me that two out of three times she tried smoking pot a few years ago it turned out awful. The other got her pretty relaxed. I guess at one point she decided that you weren't going to wake up and there wasn't any help coming. So she lit it up and took a few drags. What the fuck? We found the roach stuck to her shirt in a congelated stream of blood and vomit. I can only hope that it eased her last moments on the planet. Okay, well, if her stomach I'm was die. full of Pulls out blunt. I mean mood. Uh, but <laughs> if her stomach was full of blood like that, um, <laughs> I don't think that she would have, like, lasted long enough for the sun to come up. Yeah. Like, again, like, internal bleeding like that can fucking kill you pretty fast. Mm hmm Like, I don't think she would have lasted the minimum three hours for the sun to come up, depending on what time of year it was. Yeah. Uh, at the last time when Jim, uh, Jim, Jeff could begin ta uh, taking his digital girlfriends on night dates and hopefully getting the bonus sex rounds. Oh, at last the time came when Jeff could begin taking his digital girlfriends on night dates and hopefully getting the bonus sex rounds. As silly as it may have sounded to others, Jeff had, knowing he had a night off to play the game, picked up a bottle of Shivas Regal scotch um, for the What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fuck my digital girlfriend. Time to get drunk. Is homie so mentally fucked up after the death of his wife that he has become, like legitimately emotionally attached to these 2D sprites. Oh god, that's just sad. Because if that's the case, we don't need these emails. <laughs> yeah. <this laughs> the dude suffered enough. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Before the car accident, it was not uncommon for him to have a few drinks in place of video games. Well, that's why he's not a true gamer. He was too drunk to game properly. God, of course, you never drink in game if you're a true gamer. <laughs> yeah, you smoke pot. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, since, the, uh, since the publicity of the wreck and the general knowledge in the community that he had been attending 12-step meetings, he tried to keep his drinking more hidden than ever. And so you broke your streak over some two-bit honeys? Or eight-bit honeys? My brain combined eight-bit and 2D. Whoops. Yeah. There's a lot uh, more man. than just eight bits on these girls, though. Did I? I fuck no. Yeah, broke your fucking streak for some 2D honeys. Okay. Whatever. Uh, he had driven about 40 miles out of his way to hit a liquor store where, we, where he and his car wouldn't be recognized. 
That's just sad. You have a problem. <laughs> Calm this down, dude. son. It's just a cartoon. <laughs> or it's just a drawing. Say so he loaded started him out on a morning, and he set out to chat with some girls before he talked before taking the Asian girl Echo on a date at night. Twice when he was talking to different women before the day began, he was met with a question screen with no real text on it. Just a series of ellipses and the girls making their disappointed faces. <laughs> he thought he must have done something wrong in playing the game up to that point, but it didn't seem to be affecting the main flow of things. He hoped it did defect the dates. What the fuck? Hi, I'm Iko, your fake 2D girlfriend, and I'm disappointed in you, you drug addict. Oh, fuck. That just reminded me of a story idea I had a while back that involved, like, uh, like, basically, like, AI had gotten to the point to where it could be, like, uh, like, almost human AI could be, like, mass-produced and shit like that. And so, like, companion AIs were a thing that, like, their, their personality kind of just ended up, like, forming due to, uh, as a result of, like, whatever socialization or, like, stuff, uh, like, what all they ended up, like, around is like it developed yeah i probably should get back on that because like that one really fucking took some turns uh it was different definitely completely different than any of the other writing ideas i've had mostly because it was more tech focused than like fantasy yeah but as you can see from the picture just a bit tad down we're about to hit the really interesting part so i want to see how he um Disappoints his dead wife for fucking Iko. Because as you could see in that really cringy picture too, I think his like dead wife is in that picture. It's not Iko. As the posing is different. You're fucking right. Okay. Um. In-game evening turned into night, and he met with Iko at the bar and lounge stage. He used the money he had accrued to buy his date a few drinks, starting off with some sake, her favorite, and later some wine. I'm not gonna lie, like, I've, I've tried sake, and I have no issue with, like, people who drink it or whatever. Uh, but I swear it just fucking tastes like hand sanitizer to me. Most alcohol does taste nasty, if I'm telling the truth, in my opinion. Granted, well, like, in my case, I tend to drink more, like, Lack of a better term, white college girl drinks, so a lot of fruity shit and shit like that. Yeah, but that's fine. If it gets, if but it, sake if it gets is down, like a sake is like a particularly strong rice wine, yeah. so it's just like straight alcohol almost, or primarily alcohol anyway. Straight alcohol yeah. would be more like moonshine or whatever. Besides the point. Yeah. Um. As he dragged and dropped the, st the static booze icons over his potential lover's face, prompting such realistic replies as, What a pussy drink, hit me with something stronger. This author has no room to judge the fucking writing of Honey Pop. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you're drinking with someone who's particularly aggressive when it comes to drinking, that is entirely possible for that to be something they might say. I don't think that was supposed to be sarcastic. I think that really was supposed to be realistic. <laughs> Considering the other shit that this person said about the writing in Honey Pop. Pretty sure my brother's called me a pussy for what I've drank, drunk before. <laughs> oh, I'm not even saying that this is... I'm saying, like... I'm not saying, like, someone who's necessarily, like, fully aggressive, but more like someone who has kind of, like, that bro -y mentality. Yeah. And so it's more of like a, a joking thing of like, hey, hit me with something stronger, come on. Yeah, my brother was joking too. Yeah, but, but yeah. it's just, again, considering like some of the shit that this like, like the different comments that the authors made, like I feel like they were trying to make a dig at the fucking writing. Maybe. You know what I mean? No, I don't see it. I just think this is a really bad story. Yeah, and it feels like it's a bad story that's trying to take pot shots at a different story. Is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't think it's taking pot shots at the at Honey Pop per se. I think it's taking shots at the genre of game it's in in general. Because my main character is a simp. <laughs> <laughs> 
The only problem is that this is written by a simp. <laughs> yeah. Jeff poured himself a neat scotch and gulped down the amber depressant. The smooth amber depressant. After a bit of schmoozing, Jeff asked a Japanese college professor out on a date. The puzzle round with, at Vinny's restaurant went very well, and Jeff got the required score to win using 17 of his 20 allotted moves. No one cares. Why are you... Why, what? Results at in, least with the Godzilla one, like... Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> at least that one's good. Yeah. Like, the Godzilla one's how you do this right. The God's, oh, that, that, that one's got me fucked up still. The Godzilla one does a good... Good job of getting you fucked up, and it's weird. Yeah. Resulting in Aiko making the offer to come over tonight for a private lesson in American history. <laughs> Jeff would not have refused the offer even if he had been given a chance to. Da -da -da. I... For a few seconds between the date round fading out and the appearance of the text indicating the change in location to your bedroom, a corrupted image appeared on screen and flickered before the bedroom sex bonus round started. It wasn't there long enough to make any sense of it, but it appeared to be just a jumbled up collage of game images. I absolutely refuse to believe that this main character has ever been married. Yeah. Like, the fucking... <laughs> like, that's the whole thing, is also, like, it feels so obvious that it's someone trying to write about a loss who has never, like, actually seen never seemed to have actually suffered like a loss of anyone like so close to them that it actually like kind of fucked them up for a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, hold on. Sorry. Yeah, so it's just like a glitchy picture and ooh, it's a gif. But if you want to see it, there's going to be a link in the description, as always. Oh, this yeah, fucking a lot of the stuff that happens in this story sounds like it's happening to happen. Like, why would yeah. his girlfriend be haunting his game? Ah, because he's a horrible person. But yeah, like, it, it, it's kind of like, uh, I made a similar comment for the Fifty Shades review, uh, because there's, like, moments in it where it's, like, this is obviously, like, supposed to be this written by someone who has never experienced this. Yeah. And that's what this feels like. Like, this person... It, it feels like this isn't someone who's ever, like, suffered the loss of a partner or even, like, a close family member or anything like that. Yeah. And I... I mean, I hope I'm not wrong with that because... I, I don't like the thought of, like, that sort of thing happening to a person. Uh, but... <laughs> you need to do a bit more research if you're going to put implement it into your story properly. Yeah. But this is harmless enough that I don't think he's trying to be insulting with it. It's just... It's just it tactless. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. As long, at long last, it was time for Jeff Bowman to be stripped of his digital virginity. <laughs> Please don't make that an actual phrase. Digital virginity. I hate that. God, that is... Dude, you just posted cringe. Again, <laughs> this person... I, I don't mean this as an insult, but I'm having a hard time believing that the person who wrote this has ever been in a relationship. <laughs> I don't Prior think the to writing who's this. ever like written this is either A played Honey Pop or B been on the internet or had sex at all. So you're telling me that they just found like screen caps of it online and altered those? <laughs> yes, it really looks like that. <laughs> they didn't even take screen caps of the actual game. <laughs> Couldn't even put forth the same effort that Cosby Def did. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I can't. My mommy <laughs> won't let me play Honey Pop. Because that was the thing, like, with uh, fucking the NES Godzilla game, I mean, Godzilla Creepypasta, it felt like someone who had a legitimate love of the game and had an idea for how to tell us, like, a creepy story involving it. Yeah. This is just... <sighs> it sounds like someone just being like, ah, yes, and then they did this and did that in the appropriate way that happens in this said product. 
Yeah, it's like so fucking clinical. Like, that is what it is. It's like so fucking clinical and it's explana- explanations of how things work. Like, even when they're mentioning, like, the puzzle game aspect, if I recall correctly, there's, like, special gimmicks to some of the puzzles. Yeah. Not like, not like, uh, not like, not like per character or whatever, but, like, certain puzzle aspects, I always view them as yeah. kind of a wasteful move because it didn't progress the bar, it progressed, like, another meter, like, a hyper meter and stuff like that. Like, it was I can understand, just... like, the, like, the extra move one, I can understand because, like, you do that, it might actually open up something to actually give you a bigger move, but. Yeah. Anyway, um, the mechanics of the bonus round were slightly different from the normal dates in that all tiles matched gave the same amount of points, and the total score was constantly decreasing. This made for a race against the clock feel, a mad dash to match as many tiles as quickly as one could achieve the required uh, as many as one could to achieve the required score. Jeff, playing with a mouse, was a bit hampered by having to click and drag the tiles where he wanted to place them. God, this dude's not a gamer if he thinks a fucking controller would make that quicker. Fuck this guy. Now, where a touchscreen would have been optimal for speed. Who the fuck has a touchscreen computer anymore? Unless it's like a fucking two-in-one tablet. Yo, I even then, on my tablet. And even then, that is not a good way to play Honey Pop. <laughs> Just having to, like, get up. And, like, fucking block half the screen with your fucking hand? Exactly. Especially because, honey pop, you want to play it with one hand free, if you know what I mean. (laughs) And that one hand isn't supposed to be holding onto the monitor. Just one hand below the desk, one hand on the screen. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, I hear that mental image. No matter. He was determined to max out the pleasure meter and win the bonus round. Ugh. I don't think uh, that's timed. Can you give them a disappointing sex experience? That'd be amazing. I think if it, I think if it drops to zero, it keeps going. I think because it starts yeah. at zero. Yeah, it starts at zero, and you have like unlimited amount of time. It's just you got to go fast. Which technically isn't the best thing to do in sex. Do do in sex. Do during sex, but we're not going to get into that. Oh, well, that's fine. That's why, you know, the first couple times you're not really good at it, but it's just, you know, about mastering it so that you become pretty, you know, you become the master woman woman pleaser. It just suddenly flash back to the fucking DC animated series. Just like, yep, I'm Flash, fastest man alive. You know, being fast is it always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wait. <laughs> he just has this moment of wait. <laughs> yeah. Jeff hadn't realized he was scanning the tile grid, trying to plan two or three moves ahead. You ain't got time for that in the sex round, buddy. He began to, to sweat. Holy, oh my god. Oh my, what? Sweat and was biting his top lip with increasing ferocity. What? When he crested the halfway mark on her pleasure meter, he barely even noticed that the bra his inanimate computerized lover was wearing disintegrated in her shiny high-definition breast. Or on full display. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, it's time for my manifest destiny between your great mountains. I'm elbowing the shit out of my chair to cope with that. Your cleavage is as deep as the Grand Canyon. <laughs> what the actual fuck is this paragraph? <laughs> <laughs> His tile matching became more frantic as Iko's moans increased in frequency. Before he could feel the pleasure meter and bring her to climax, the oversex professor, his monitor started flickering and glitching. Before he could register what was happening, the screen had gone black. What the fuck was that? Bullshit. What the <laughs> What? Virgin. Okay. From KevinLR89 at gmail.com. Subject, a brief explanation. Body, continued. Not sure if you knew about this, but it also looked like she used the car lighter to try and ignite some papers in the owner's manual. 
We found a few burned napkins in the owner's booklet with singed corners a few feet from the wreck. I guess she was trying to start a fire to raise some smoke to signal anyone in the vicinity. <laughs> what? If I light the forest on fire, they'll have to come here to stop it, and then they'll save me. If I light the forest on fire, then Smokey the Bear will come to save us. <laughs> and she was losing a lot like of blood. A Satan symbol. <laughs> she was losing a lot of blood. She wasn't thinking too clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I you guess the she was. Part, right? Uh, no. Uh, oh, right. It didn't work. She must have realized that starting a fire could have burned the three of you a lot. Oh, right. She was pregnant, wasn't she? Yeah. Uh. You probably would have slept through it, but she was still awake at that point. Can you imagine the desperation, the loss of hope that could make a person consider that? I don't think it's mentioned that she was pregnant yet. Maybe it was. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. The if it has, it either way, it's fucking tasteless. Yeah. I try Ooh, not to how do we make this much. more tragic? How do we make this more tragic? She was pregnant when she died. Of course. Linking his dry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description. Uh, Jeff unclenched his jaw and leaned back from the blank monitor. Why were you that fucking into this? I, I almost said sex her. scene, but it's not even really a sex scene. Oh, this picture's so shitty, I can't even look at it. I gotta... Oh, the character? Her occupation's gift shop. <laughs> her weight is 169. Nice. Um... And she's only four foot eleven. Fuck. She's a anyway, small baby. She's small. Aside from like how dodgy the shirt, like the shirt is kind of over wrinkled it. Uh, yeah, over wrinkled. And just some general gripes about the face and hair. It's not too bad of a drawing. It's just her clothing is what sets it off. I think. Yeah, and like I said, poor, the sh- poor cropping. There's a bit of poor cropping going on. Poor here. cropping, and the shirt's over wrinkled. Uh, yeah. Like whenever you're doing clothing, there's a kind of a middle ground of wrinkling that you want to do, and you typically want wrinkles to follow like the body lines and such. Yeah. Uh, so anywhere like if the spine curves in a weird way, uh, like if the spine's curved due to positioning, then there's typically going to be associated wrinkles with that, typically wrinkling on the side that's being pinched, as well as, like, there would be some wrinkling under the breasts, as well as in the armpit area. Clearly, she's wrinkled because there's still a bunch of glass sticking out of her. Or maybe she just doesn't, like, iron her short shirts, or even, like, Whenever she puts them on, like, say, a rack to dry or something, or even before she folds them, you know, just kind of fucking snap them to, like, get the wrinkles out. Or she does what I do, and she just, you know, puts it all back on the floor. Why do you put your clothes on the floor? I'm too lazy to pick them back up and put them on a hanger. Put them on a chair! Nah, they're in my very sanitary bathroom. Oh, Fuck, I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> the clothes pile in the bathroom? <laughs> say it right now, I'm not helping you with your fucking laundry. <laughs> uh, uh, don't, d- I understand, don't. Don't touch my laundry. Whenever I was hanging out, that legitimately, like, I saw that, and it was like, why is there such a big pile of laundry right there? Here, I'm going to open my um closet thing real quick. It kind of upset me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, if I ever have, you know, a, a lady friend over, I'm going to have to put all that up. Like, yeah, looking inside my closet right now, I have no clothes hanged up. It's all sitting in my bathroom. Like, for me, like, the clothes that I haven't gotten around to are currently on a chair, so. Yeah. At least, uh, like, I separate my dirty from my clean. I do that, at least. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At least you don't have pets, so you don't have to worry about, like, anything getting into the clothes, usually. Yeah. Although, like a uh, bug. <laughs> depending on how bad it is, like, you might end up with, like, say, a mouse deciding to hide out in the- 
God, I hope there's no mice in my building. That'd be very sad. Yeah, yeah, and then they'll start chewing holes in it. Uh, great. Anyway. Now I, great, now I want to put my clothes up. Thanks for that. Now I have to do something. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lean back from the black monitor. A uh, blank monitor. As a formality, he poured another tall scotch into his tumbler and swallowed it in a single opening of his throat. <laughs> oh, gross, dude. Like that a is a is terrible a dispenser. That is a terrible bit of phrasing right there. <laughs> I must say it right now. That is terrible phrasing. Like that is not a good bit of writing. I'm just I, the only thought I got from that was "ow, please, please don't." Like who fucking phrases it like that? Uh, taking no time to enjoy the taste of the pricey booze. He hissed the burn out through his teeth and assessed the situation. Before he was able to start clicking around to test the computer, the game returned to the screen. The date appeared in white text as usual, followed by an image that was familiar but also unique. What Jeff saw was a new girl, one he hadn't encountered or seen pictures of before. She was standing in the park <laughs> at night, <laughs> at night, looking downtrodden. She was built different <laughs> than any of the other girls in the game. She looked overweight, dumpy even. Okay, that's kind of rude. Yeah, what, what the fuck, man? I'd Wearing expect jeans. that from Zane, not the author. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's that supposed to mean? You've already called her overweight. <laughs> what? Fuck you. <laughs> you, didn't pre you didn't like the previous one. Uh <laughs> She's not overweight. She is, she is rightfully thick. <laughs> She is not overweight. She's just a bit tubby, that's all. And not in a bad way. She's probably still within a healthy weight, and that's all that matters. Hell Girl finders here are available. Yikes.
Yeah. <laughs> she only like, worked out she her has arms. A slightly she round face. Yeah, she has a slightly round face and a bit of chub on her body, and that's really it. <laughs> It's like it's like I said. She's she skipped abs day. That's about it. But also, her tits are a bit too high. <laughs> it's anime. It's gravity defying tits. No, I mean like they literally seem to be attached at her collarbones. Oh right, yeah. Oof, no. <laughs> you noticed it? I'm kind of far away right now, but yeah. Like I just like it, opened yeah. up the picture, and it's like. Because, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, all the shit that's bothering me. Uh, for one, the skin tone, for the most part, is just a flat color. Yeah. Oh. It's less so on the arms and neck, but the face is, like, all co- all one color except for the parts that are shadowed by hair. Yeah, I uh, see that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, after finally regaining some of his sen- senses, Jeff had another drink. I don't think alcohol is the solution to this. Yeah, dude, I think you need to be sober for this. Alcohol got me into this mess. It'll get me out. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's bad. Uh, this time for going the glass in favor of sloppily kissing the glass rim of the bot. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, this dude wants to fuck alcohol. The cold sensation of his insides began to abate a bit, a little, and he started looking at the rest of the game screen. He noted, uh, he made note that all, all the normal game menus were listed, but not all functional. Many of the buttons did nothing when clicked. The heart meter was empty, as were the hunger and intoxication meters. Uh, Dude, he bro, was able to check. Your wife, she's hungry. <laughs> bro. Uh, he was able to check Aaron profile and this buried many doubts he could have hoped to have uh, hoped to have about coincidence or the like uh and i yeah 24 last name boehm uh weight 169 height 411 cup size d fave color violet okay okay but here's the real never mind i'm not i'm not gonna insult this man's fake dead wife or this creepypasta you're gonna be like, are these anime D's or like real D's? <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. I'm half tempted to DM ET Tan and go, we found someone shorter than you. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> no, I gotta do it over this. Besides, she has stuff to prepare for tomorrow. Oh, all right. Oh, is it my line? Uh, uh, yeah. All the information was on the screen. Her name, her married name. His name was there. Her late winter birthday. Job at a gift shop. Short stature. Even the size of her bra was dead on. Ah, so it isn't anime D. He couldn't scroll through the rest of the Honey Bee in game. But he had no need to. Everything he had already seen was enough to send his head spinning. Again, he saw that none of the hearts were filled. And yet, one of the only options he seemed to be able to click on was he asked on a date one, which day that it would be a night date instead of a first date, because they already dated. The only thing to do seemed to be to talk with her, even though it was listed like that. No honey points would be awarded for doing so. Gives a better judgment. He clicked the light blue button to engage in her honey pop version of conversation. I from Kevin L R eight uh, eight nine gmail dot com. Subject, brief explanation, body continued. And yes, I did say three of you. Fucking knew it. That was not a typo. While you spent the last few months in a haze of booze and pot, Aaron told me that you had become, as they say, comfortably numb. Everywhere. Maybe you didn't find her sexy since she gained weight. Maybe you just lost your libido, but she hadn't lost hers. Come on, dude. Please please your wife. <laughs> Oh, I've got to find a video of Duke Nukem real quick. Okay. Please, please, your wife. <laughs> Both of these people are terrible, and I hate this. Mm-hmm. 
You may not have noticed, but she told me she had been waking up in the night and getting sick, that she was weeks late. Uh, I've got no doubt who the father was. Would have been. The plan was to tell you together, the two of us and you. <laughs> Seemed obvious to me, but I guess you guys couldn't see that things were through. Jesus Christ, no wonder this man was in, like, a drunken stupor. His wife was probably cheating on him. Well, no, it was established early on that she was cheating on him. Everyone in this story is fucking awful, and I hate it. Yep. And not even in, like, a way of, like, oh, they're awful people but good characters. No. no. Everything is bad. Everything is awful. Everything just sucks when it's in this story. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is awful. Oh. Hey. Your, your line. Yeah, I know. Hold, hold on. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> so oh. actually, we're actually almost done with this story. I was about to ask us to stop, but I think we can we can suffer through this real quick and, and finish it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Although she told me about your problems in bed, she had also once mentioned you still had a fondness for more animated girls. <laughs> oh, so he's not a simp. He's just a weeb. Weeb, 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 weeb. Weeb. I had a feeling that you would eventually get around to playing Honey Pop. I don't know shit about programming, but my little brother does, and I'm I'm a fair artist. No, you're not. You suck. Your art sucks. It all sucks. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. It's I'm not the one. worst. I've seen far worse. Yeah, I'm just... It, it's... I, I wasn't talking about the person who actually drew this in-game. I'm talking about okay. the actual character in the story. No, fuck you. Your art sucks and you're a horrible person. Okay. I just want to tell you to show you what I saw and experienced these past few months in a way that might actually make an impact on your slowly pickling brain. <laughs> In a way, you have to right to know everything. Now you do. Maybe now I can get some closure. As for you, you're on your own. I imagine you have more questions, but I honestly don't care now. I sympathize with your loss, but I also never want to see or hear from you again. I hope we can at least grant each other that. With sympathies, Kevin Randall. I would have, like, so by the... this point, just blocked this dude a while ago. I... I refuse to believe that the man who sent this email has ever been laid. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to listen to that later. <laughs> it's great. A message popped up in the text window. It read, how long has it been? With three choices in the usual fountain. One was six months or so, the next was almost a year, and finally over a year. Wait a minute, that means that this isn't even a fucking haunted game. Nope, it's just a... It's just a dude being an asshole. It was just progr- What the fuck? This story has gotten so much worse now that he said that. It would have been better if it was the ghost of his dead wife. I can't believe I'm saying that. But it would have. I wanted a haunted honeypot video game where maybe his wife, his dead wife, was kind of yandere. And she's like, how dare you stare at animated women instead of me? Like, you should have taken out the cheating thing altogether, or if you're going to do cheating, have it to where it's revealed that the main character was cheating. Yeah. Not that the wife was cheating. Have it to where you have a reason for a vengeful spirit. Like, creepypastas are supposed to be internet campfire stories. Do the fucking campfire story. Go all in with the supernatural bullshit. Or, like, whatever scary bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> This sucks. This, it's like that terrible Hercules movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson in which it was like revealed that nothing supernatural was there. And it was all just exaggerations of actual things he did, like actual things the character did, and it was just awful. Like, it wasn't actually an invincible lion, it was just a regular lion that he killed. I'm sorry. Give me the bulletproof lion that he strangled to death with his bare hands. That's a lot cooler. That sounds metal as fuck and is a way more interesting story, yeah. But no, we need to make it to where it was all actually fake. Like, this is what that feels like. 
Mm-hmm. But you had an opportunity and you fucking wasted it. Dude, you dropped the ball on this so hard. I actually want to end this like without finishing the story. This story doesn't deserve our attention. It's just going like, to be... I-, I can look down at the pictures because I spoiled myself. And it's just them trying to make this dude feel bad for, you know, getting into a drunken accident. Even though apparently his wife is clearly not a good person. And neither is the man who made this stupid fucking game. Is the only reason this guy's upset because the wife was pregnant? It sure sounds like it. Like, this dude's being a dick for that. Like, why is that the thing that this guy's focusing on? Instead of, you killed the woman I was sleeping with that you were married. This is just, again, you should have had it to where, if you were doing a cheating subplot, you should have had it to where it was the husband that cheated. There are like, so many knots in this story that you can't get rid of one of them because another knot gets in the way. Well, no, like, I literally just gave away for this to be a better story. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but the story as you have it right now is too convoluted for me to actually yeah. care about anyone. Yeah, like, like the easiest way to fix this, actually be a vengeful ghost, husband was cheating, not the wife, uh, and just completely remove this guy. Like, also, first person. Don't make it third person. Why did you make it third person? The story makes me sad. It disconnects you from the story. Because, again, like, the whole point of, like, creepypastas is that whole internet ghost story. Like, can you imagine, like, how less fucking, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like, immersive the fucking NES Godzilla creepypasta would be if it was in third person? Um, that just feel like... Like, that that story is like... That feels like we're sitting down with that guy and he's telling, about, uh, telling us about what's happening, right? This yeah. story feels like we're standing behind this dude and laughing at him. Yeah! Like, because like... A good creepypasta feels like someone is telling you about a weird thing that happened to them once. Yeah. Only it turns out the thing is really fucking weird. Mm hmm. Like. This just feels like a character caricatures. Yeah, like. Alright, so. I ended up, like, booting up this Edge game. Like, oh, I was feeling lonely. My wife. Like, I told you about this. My wife had, like, passed on, like, a couple years ago. I, I, I just need something to fill the hole, you know? And, uh, it just... I mean, it's kind shit of, you know... just fucking weird. got out of hand. Yeah. Like, it meant, like... That feels so much more fucking personal than this. Hell, even just make it to where the character's just playing honeypot because he's not comfortable, you know... Going to talk to real women again, you know? Getting back into the actual dating scene. Maybe both him and his wife were both fucking weebs instead of just one of them. Like, fucking anime and H games were a thing they bonded over. Yeah. Because again, if you have a partner that you watch porn with, that is perfectly, like, that is a comfortable relationship. If you feel the need to hide your porn habits from your significant other... I'm just gonna say it. There's something a bit off. You need, like... You don't need to share, like, all your fucking fetishes with, like, your fucking partner. But... (laughs) But if they're, like, trying to deny you of, like... Unless it's, you know, an unhealthy, you know, kind of dangerous fetish. Yeah. Then, you know, I can get that. But, like, if it's just, like... They're, like, outright refusing letting you to, like, watch porn or something, you should probably go with someone else. Yeah! Like, what the hell? Ugh. Uh, yeah, one was six months or so. The next was almost a year, and finally over a year. <laughs> Swinging another few fingers worth of scotch, he clicked the second option. Immediately, another question appeared: Are things easier now? Apparently not. <laughs> Jeff thought about his answer. His life was almost uh, was most definitely a bigger mess than it had been, with court orders, fines, and guilt. He chose the answer, reading: No, things have only gotten worse. This prompted a text reading. I sincerely wish that both of us had thought about that beforehand. Fuck you, you pretentious prick. I know you're not real, but like, fuck you. Ugh. 
let's not like we're gonna be here forever if we're gonna complain Again, about like if it was an actual it. ghost that could actually i uh Afterwards, the main this? <laughs> yeah. Afterwards, the main set of options came back, except with talk. Except to talk with her was uh, was no longer a clickable choice. The only other option was to go on a date. There was part of him, a really large, glaring part of him, that told Jeff to just stop and go to bed, not to even think about what was happening until morning. But the slightly greater majority of his brain felt compelled to click the date button. Jeff was experiencing a strange combination of awe and despair. He hated to think about his wife and what had happened to her, replaying everything he could remember about the night of the accident in a loop and sometimes robbed him of sleep for days on end. So, um, I remember my a conversation I had with both my parents once. My dad was, you know, he slept around a lot when he was younger. Yeah. And then I don't know if he did while he was married, but I straight up asked my dad, in front of my mom hey dad did you ever cheat on my mom and my yeah. mom's response was don't answer that and my dad should answer that because she's pretty confident and i'm not i don't think my dad's a cheater that my dad's yeah. not cheating but if he did it once back when he was younger and still kind of stupid she doesn't want you know the good memories they have now to be ruined by you know yeah. one bad experience that's way in the past now yeah why are you ruining this man's life for him after she's dead. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with this fake dude in this story? Like that one fucking mention of the fact of, oh yeah, my brother's good at programming, so I asked him to help me out with this. Just completely fucking tanked everything. <laughs> it really did. Like that's. It like, was an anti-twist like there was all this build up like it wasn't good build up but it was build up it was heading towards something and then it just like fucking derailed i have never i have never read anything in the entirety of this entire series where i like completely went from loving it about being excited about what's to happen to hating it completely <laughs> Ugh. There was also a sense now, uh, now that he was. There was also a sense now that he was in this now. What? <laughs> Come is in the wrong place. He was already ruminating about his current conundrum, as well as experiencing the familiar undertow of shame that he feared would tear him apart if he ever really sat and thought about it. If he hadn't, at, uh, if he didn't at least see this through to the end, he would have had. Uh, he would have yet another sense of unfinished business to throw out on the ever growing uh, to throw it on the ever growing pile. The best he could do for his conscience was to play out, uh, play this out a little before analyzing it. He clicked the date button. Uh, Thursday I nine night. Your bedroom. You know what could have happened for cause of death? What? She found out he was cheating. Uh, and this kind of caused her to, like, fucking panic. She goes off on a drive to clear her head. And, of course, she's not in the best mental state right now because she found out that her fucking husband or boyfriend or whatever is cheating on her. Ends up in a fucking wreck. Yep. Main characters all feeling guilty and shit because, like, he feels that he's he justifiably feels that he's responsible for her, her death. At, and like, there you have a reason for vengeful ghost. It's cliche, but it's better than that than what happens. What happened? I just wanted a really funny story about a ghost haunting a honey pop game, but now the ghost isn't even real. The ghost <laughs> is a fucking cardboard cutout, not even one of the cute ones from Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Yeah. The images on screen disassembled and faded to black as usual. The standard text faded in announcing that the setting was changing back to the bedroom. It appeared that there would be no formal date round this time. The bedroom appeared in the gameplay grid and the girl slid into view. Aaron was standing on the screen, looking sad and disappointed like she was in the previous screen, but this time in the fashion of the game, she was standing in her underwear, whereas in the game, girls t 
in the game, girls typically had sexy matching underwear. She was instead simply wearing an unflattering ensemble of a black padded bra and a dull blue panties. Hey, dude, man, it's if, your dead wife. Hey, <laughs> show some fucking respect. <laughs> Also, another thing, if your lady just walks into the room in just her undergarments in general, then you should just be happy about that if, you know. <laughs> that means it's sexy time. You should just be happy about that. Or your boyfriend, whatever your fucking SO is. Well, of course, whoever your SO is, but it's just in this specific yeah. context, it's his lady. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine if this was a vengeful ghost and she's just like, I chose my dullest undergarments just to f fuck with you. <laughs> and then it's just like, she points at the screen and it like goes behind like the main character and it's just like her sexy lingerie burning up. <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Also, since we have like established at this point that this dude probably programmed this in and none of this is real. Uh then that means he, he programmed in that fake glitchy screen earlier. Oh my... Mm. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> what the hell? What? I... Why is her torso so weirdly smooth? She was trying to lose weight, so she's like, you know... I... She's like muscly under all that, you know... <laughs> I don't know, man. I just want to get this over with. Because, <laughs> like, you see, like, the outlines of rolls and shit like that, but no actual fucking fold. So it's just, like, weird. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. So she's not wearing any clothes right now, right? Oh, my God. Is it the exact same shape as the shirt? Yes. I think it is. There's, like, maybe one more fold on that part, I think. Yeah, there's, like, so, like one more fold, like, right at, like, where the hips go out. Out yeah, but the, the like shirt. her body is still unnaturally like squiggly, right? Yeah. What the hell? Because because like those wouldn't be purely on the side. side. Like those those would like go into like the bottom of the rib cage. Yeah. Also, I just realized that he drew. Um... <laughs> I don't want to say that out loud. Oh my god, I think that's actually one of the actual, like, character's tits. I'm not even talking about that. Like, look at her, like, nether regions. Like, it's it's sticking out. <laughs> you see it, right? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? But, Props like, to you for that attention to detail, but come on, man. And yet there's, like, no seam lines on the panties. Uh, yeah. Um... Again, not gonna try and dig this guy's art too much, but also if you like look, the story is from like 2015, dude. Like it's yeah, old. the chest and shoulders are actually photoshopped on; those aren't drawn. Oh fuck! I think you're right. What the? F <laughs> and it doesn't I... help that again the tits are too high. <laughs> I want to know the creative process of creating this image. I want to know how this came to be, because this picture is amazing in the most glorifyingly bad way possible. I mean, I can't do any better, so I'm not insulting this man, but, like, I'm impressed that this image came out as well as it is from, like, the small, like, like at, a di at first glance, at a distance in the small image screens, it's not that bad looking, but if you look at it too closely, yeah. you start to notice all the problems. Yeah. Okay, I think, like, the most glaring thing is, why are the tits photoshopped in? <laughs> <laughs> Whose tits are those? Whose tits did you steal? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to rag on the artist too much, but... <laughs> Let's just get through this, man. We are so close to finishing, but at this yeah. point, we're just dragging it on more than we need to. There was no sound bite from from her as there is in the nor uh, standard bedroom rounds before game play, play commences. She just stood there for a few seconds before the tiles dropped in the grid. The tiles themselves were not the standard mix of varied colors and shapes, but instead were limited on two varieties: a broken the broken heart tiles, which dropped the player's score, and a new red round uh, a new red round red tile that Jeff didn't recognize. As there were only two types, it was inevitable 
told that there would occur three tile matches without any player input. In fact, Jeff found that if you tried to click on the puzzle grid, nothing happened. The tiles just kept matching, disappearing and being replaced from the top. Despite this, there was no score accumulating. The counter under the grid simply read as a static 0-0 zero, zero the entire time. Why was that programmed in? Like, come on, dude. You don't gotta fuck this dude over this much. Like, now oh, again, God. all that shit is now programmed in. This wasn't, like, his dead wife, like, affecting the code or anything. It was... It means everything was intentional. Yeah. As there really was nothing to do, Jeff just watched the tiles match and drop, trying to figure out what the red tile oh tokens my. were. Yeah, you're the red blood. Mm-hmm. God, that's just in poor taste and really cringy. Yeah. They were constantly in motion, so it was hard to get a good look, but they appeared to Jeff like a smudged crimson eyeballs or little red tone sonogram images. It's More a fucking fetish. I mean, fetus. Fetus! <laughs> oh, God, they are fetuses. Okay, this dude's just salty that his, you know, potential child with the man he, with the woman he cheated on is dead. You're focusing on the wrong thing, my dude. <laughs> you really are, mate. Oh, my gosh. The more stud and the more to him they looked like the latter. Shifting his gaze back to the right of the screen, he saw the half-naked girl, his wife, staring back at him, never blinking or speaking like the girls always do in the puzzles. Uh, she's not going to even give you, like, a dying dead moan, like a zombie or anything. <gasps> Who would uh... they give for the voice for that? <laughs> Alright, I also need you to, like, fucking, like, groan into the microphone. <laughs> it's not, they, they just do, like, the left or dead zombie noises. <laughs> After almost a minute of watching the tiles fall and match themselves, Aaron's image began to change. It flickered a few times, then was replaced by a distorted version of herself. The new Aaron remained static. Her skin was now pale, her skin now pale and tinted blue. There were drop dark circles forming under her increasingly glazed over eyes. A small bruise appeared in the corner of her mouth. The tiles continued to fall as this new pale woman stared out from the monitor. Also, another question. Why did you, like, get your younger brother to program this for you? Like, that's also this kind of a dick move. Yeah. Wait, so is it my line now? Sorry. Yep. Jeff stared, right? Yeah. Jeff stared, barely comprehending what he was seeing. His hand had moved from the computer mouse and was limply cover covering his slightly open mouth. Almost before he could register what he was seeing, the image of his wife began to change again. The skin took on a more pallid hue. It became mottled with bruises and a spiderweb of veins. Splotched of, splotches of purple and gray and sickly green covered her body. Dark streaks soon sh showed across her forehead. And from the nose of the girl, inky, clotted blood, two deep gashes were visible. One on her leg and another on her forearm, oozing rivulets of gore. Success! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could uh, get for anyone that reading along, incoming, I guess, gore trigger warning. Uh, yeah. Uh, the site was almost more than Jeff could take. He hadn't been awake when the ambulance and police had shown up to the scene of the car accident that had taken Aaron's life, but he was aware that she had lain there dead for several hours when he was passed out. The thought of something that he tried to push from his brain every day, and now it was there uh, here staring him with staring at him with glassy eyes. He closed his eyes tightly as a tear ran down the nid, uh, lid, ran between the lids down the crease of his nostril. I... Fuck We're... you. Ugh. When he opened his watery eyes again, the tiles stopped dropping and the sound cue uh, for winning a date play round played. The word success appeared over the grid as usual, but there was I... no closing dialogue. From his minimal research on the game, he knew that, fo that following the bedroom round, a graphic and loot picture was meant to appear on screen. What Jeff saw when the screen faded black and, and made his inside sink and brought a new wave of choking dry sobs. The image that materialized was not an anime-style drawing of a naked woman, but instead of a dark and corrupted picture of a woman lying face up in a patch of dead grass. 
Dark streaks during her longer nose and, and a gash on her forehead. Gray veins could be seen creeping up her neck, and her eyes were darkly bruised. This must have been a photograph taken at the scene of the car wreck. This was Aaron before she was taken to the morgue mere hours after her life had ceased. Why was she lying in the grass? She was in the car, right? Yeah. So homie had to move her out of the car just to take this picture. Like, why would she not have been placed on, like, one of the fucking beds? Or, like, one of the fucking, uh, what are they called? Are they called beds? Uh, like, the thing I, they I place know, you on for the ambulances. Yeah, why would she not just been placed on one of those? I almost said rack. That wouldn't be the right word. Because this dude's fucked up. Uh, <sighs> Jeff buried his face in, uh... In his hands and coughed out low moaning sobs. Honeypop closed itself and the standard desktop returned. There was a new notification from the email app in the tray. One new message from Kevin the asshole McFuckerface at gmail.com. Sub a brief explanation. Body. Jeff. You are likely baffled and upset by what you have just experienced. But all will become clear, I hope, by the end of this correspondence. Oh my fucking god. That was the beginning of the email that we've been stuck with throughout this entire thing. Uh, Mm. Fuck this. Yeah, so this wasn't very good. Yeah, I thought this would be funny and kind of a cool thing to read later because I scrolled down and I saw Dead Wife and I thought Haunted Video Game, but no. It would have been better if it was Haunted. I was missing out on some cool ghost sex, and now I don't even get that. I mean, you can always watch the montage scene of Ghostbusters. Yeah, but it's where not... Where Dan Aykroyd gets blown by a ghost. Yeah, but it's not like, you know, Ghost is yeah, invading yeah. my anime porn game. Uh, Well, I guess this is one of those cases where it just kind of, like, pissed me off enough that I actually did make uh, end up actually giving writing advice, which, I mean... I'm pretty sure this dude's moved on to greener pastures than this. Well, I mean, just in general, like, for anyone that might be listening and wants some form of advice. Please send me stories about ghost sex. Or, again, like... <laughs> nope. The I'm, virgin... I'm... The... The virgin newly single and the Chad NES Godzilla creepypasta. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's kind of mean, but yeah. The NES Godzilla creepypasta came out years before this did. Like, that one's considered a classic pasta. Really? Yeah. Huh. Nice. Yeah, like, I think that, that one's from, like, back during the Jeff the Killer days and shit like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. But unlike Jeff the Killer, I actually enjoy it. Dun dun dun. Anyway, Stamps, then our boy, our, no, our boy Solomon, right? Yeah, our boy Solomon, still the best. Still the best. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, special thank you to our patrons, Summer Moon Soldier and Destiny Baird. If you like what we do and we, you would like to support us in any way, then consider going down to the link in the description and pledging any amount of money you want. Um, there are, of course, different perks for different levels. Additionally, or uh, alternatively, even, you could just do the standard YouTube stuff, you know. I already made the joke I was about to make about, you know, licking, but, you know. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, so this has been What Are We Reading? I've been Lydic. And this is me signing off, hopefully never having to look at the story ever again. Bye-bye.